Thank you, Geralt, for this, and for what you said at the port. I should have said it long ago. So, what happens now? Afraid it's a bit too early for happily ever after. I've got to find Siri. I'm close. I will find her, or someone who knows what happened to her. Where will we meet? Can only think of one place where both witchers and sorceresses are welcome. Caremorn. Haven't been there in a while. So, I guess I'll see you, Witcher. I'll miss you. A lot. I'll miss you too. fragrance, acrid sweat, and chestnut balm for aching joints. Dijkstra. Ah, those witches' senses. Can't hide a damn thing from you lot. Same seems to be true for you. Will you ever leave me alone? Someday, sure. Once I no longer need you. Sure this is the right time, Siggy. Triss and I just... Spare me, Geralt. Which is a strip of feeling, not one emotion in that body of yours. And I've an urgent matter to discuss. Mm-hmm. And that is? What would you say? How many mages did we save, altogether? Dunno. Didn't count. Thirty, maybe, give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the North? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novograd they had us, we were here. But who'll save those in Rimba, Banard, Ard Kareg, Gullet? You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one, Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go, now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father. Was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania. Made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? It's armies, I'd wager. And you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization? Inciting peasants to take up their scythe, straighten them? Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that through years of fucking hard work. I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? I don't kill kings. Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this. Though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. For majors, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? Silence. 
cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passa Flora in the Garrett. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. Not swords. Show me what you have in stock.
So long. Get it, Lared. Last chance to surrender. Oh, Hey there. A hand, that's it. March Griffin's had a veritable feast. Griffin feather. Must have lost it when taking off. Hopefully its nest is nearby.
His long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Out is sharp. Ah, Witcher! Greetings! Baron's not here. Rode off to find a healer. For the wife, naturally. I know. Seen what's happening outside the gates? What do you mean? Baron left me in command. Told the boys to set things right, put them in order. The new order. They're murdering and pillaging. That is the new order. And I don't give a flying fuck if you like it or not. If it weren't for our heroes ruling the wilds, we'd have starved long time. Right in the chops, right in the chops, see? Bollocks. to talk to you about
Uma, gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Thing is, he ain't here. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error, a mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Taking Uma. There ain't a. Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back, though, won't you? It'd be awful dull without him. No. Not about to bring him back. Open the door. Now. Here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morhen. Well, come on. What the? Quit playing around. Let's go. Like we got company, Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Banglin. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report.
No courtesies needed? Perfect. But remember, I'm not your soldier, or page, or dog, so don't give me any orders. Would you prefer I order my guards? Look around. I need only beckon. Geralt. Now report. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that... Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over, till the next. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here, probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse, so he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells, to the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen.
cocktails this close to the fortress? Someone's been slacking off. Quite a while. Too long. And your journey, how was it? Calm, if you don't count the forked tail that flew over our heads a few miles back. Passenger got a little restless. Hmm. <laughs> what have we here? Multiple deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip, and is this... Now, now, calm down. And if it was right on one count, being sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? <laughs> you two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? She teleports in. Not even a nice to see. You. Jumps right into a... We've a curse to live. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. And she went to the guest room to rearrange things. Through the bed, off the balcony. So where is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old for that nonsense. I should let her know I'm here. If you say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. Damn it!
it, you piece of shit. Uh oh. <coughs> Damned crystal. <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First, we must finish our preparations. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta... Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. signal. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. So, Jennifer found a volunteer to walk around with that chirping stick after all. the signal. Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. Shit, lost the signal. Nothing here. Oh, got a signal. Signal's growing stronger. Can't be far now. There you are. 
disturbance is coming from there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. All right, gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves, just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. All done. You can go. Now, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Nothing here. Thank you. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope? No, he probably knew. But that's the sort of prank you only pull on someone you like. You don't suppose he... Lambert? Really? I'm flattered. But no matter. More importantly, I shall finally be able to contact Ida. The Ida? Elvin Sage? What do you want from her? Stay and you'll learn for yourself. Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Kidnail Yennefer at Vengerberg. Gwynblade? Mill in Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Vafel Elen, Kednil Foli, Gledev Don Eptenid, Bondro Isne Iachus. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse, but I cannot guarantee that even they will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Va fail. That does not conclude our conversation. What is it? The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? The Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade. For you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. All in all, interesting conversation. What now? Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin.
What's this? Brewing potions? No. Booze from potato peels. Hmm. For my welcome back feast? Actually, more like my farewell feast. Haven't heard? Madame Sorceress has requested I fortify the phylactery with power from the Circle of Elements. Says it's essential to lifting the curse from that monstrosity of yours. Don't sound too thrilled about all this. I'm not. You know the trek to the Circle's no walk in the park. In more ways than one. Let me go with you. Well, might have more spring in my step with the famous white wolf at my side. So, you ready? No reason to wait. Let's go. Oh, meant to tell you. Can't get to the circle through the mountains. Rockslide blocked the pass last spring. So we approach from the pond side, like when we did the trial of the medallion? Exactly. Remember the way? Not easily forgotten that. He who returns with his medallion will prove himself worthy and may set off on the path. Sabola's Breach. Still haven't patched it up? Vesemir'd like to. Doesn't bother me, though. Not expecting anyone to lay siege, and... This way I got a shortcut to the pond. Shame those Salamander assassins didn't punch a few more holes in our walls. Or finish the job and reduce these ruins to rubble. Been thinking. You gonna swim across the pond? No, I got a boat moored there. You know, for fishing. Wow. Never took you for the fishing type. I use bombs. I drop them in and scoop up whatever floats to the surface. Hmm. That makes sense. Shot. Come on, come closer. Hunting's almost a diversion. Gotta get me. Well, well, color me impressed. 
learn them tricks. It's an art. Learned it from this old master down in Zaracania. Yeah. Save that tale for your next sorceress. Tell me about Vesemir. Things any better between you? Seems so. Old man's dropped the moralizing, and I try not to piss him off too often. Mm -hmm. Working out well? Moderately. Castle's pretty big. Easy to stay out of each other's way. Damn it. I moored it right here, I swear. Blind must have come loose. Really? Here I thought the boat untied itself to go for a jaunt on its own. In this fog, we'll never... There a storm before I arrived? Let me think. Yeah, five days passed. Mm. Wind must have grabbed the sail, tugged the boat off its mooring. Boat drifted into the bushes. Great. Last thing we needed.
All right. Cave entrance is just opposite. See it? Gotta sail across the pond, go through the cave, climb Troll's head, and we're there. Doesn't seem like such an ordeal now, does it? No. Still gives me the shivers, though. You know only two boys returned from my group? You were the ones who ran into old spear tip in the caverns, right? Mm-hmm. That's still gnawing at you? Gnawing? No. Straight old pisses me off. What the fuck was that trial for? Most who returned from the Circle of Elements died within a year in some swamp, hunting drowners for Crown 30 ahead. So exactly what was the point? Ought to ask Vesemir. Oh, I have. Many times. Believe you me. Let's go. Jump in the boat. All right. I'm taking the tiller, though. Because? Because it's my boat. Not up for discussion. this boat yourself? Yeah. Something you don't like about it? Besides the water up to our ankles? Nothing. Quit whining. It'll make it across the lake. Provided we don't smash into something first. I barely see the tip of my nose. Fog's thick as curdled milk. Never took you for a poet. Oh, but I am one. Wanna hear a limerick? Sure. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Not bad. Fall off a bit. Sails fluttering. Don't teach your grandma to suck eggs. Right, almost there. Ready for the caverns? Almost. Before we go inside. Ugh, drink a dose of cat, I know. Any more words of wisdom? Like, step softly or you'll wake old spear tip? Sheesh, you're pricklier than Yen. Ugh, don't fall in love with me. Let's go. Ah! Hear that? Sounds like a kid. You know this valley's uninhabited except for us. It's got to be an illusion. What if it's not? <sighs> Whatever you want to do. We'll investigate, just in case. You know, Vesemir's right. You do poke the damn eye, almost always. Fine. Let's go. It's all right, you're safe now. No! No! Help! Fine. Consider yourself vindicated. You were right. Well, well, what do you know? We can talk about that later. Got the fog that's to take care of now.
Time to end this. An illusion. Who would have thunk? You're not gonna let this drop anytime soon, are you? No, I will not. In fact, whole world should hear about the time the famed Geralt of Rivia was duped like a child. Think we ought to get Dandelion to write a ballad about it. How's that sound? When someone's life might be threatened, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Enough said. Of course, the noble white wolf never abandons a man in need. He's more saint than richer. Changing subjects. Did I see right? Was that boy... Yeah, one of ours. Must have drowned during his trial. Foglitz remembered his voice and appearance. Charming. Let's get out of here. Needn't ask me twice. In fact, I didn't even want to come here. Lambert, enough. Spear tip's never been kind to guests. Shit, too damn high. Not if I give you a boost. Remember? Part of the trials. A witcher is a lone hunter. But even a lone hunter can use a helping hand sometimes. Vesemir. Ready? Oh, you fat fuck. Two, three. You're no feather either. Come on, let's go.
wall looks a little shaky. Hard, maybe? Mind not stomping like that. Relax. I slipped. Bones. Pulverized. Oh, what? Something fell in my eye. Splinter, I think. Hope it wasn't from a broken mirror. That'd make you even nastier. Ha ha. Reeks of mold. What did you expect? Scent of violets? Would have been ah, so soft and sweet, just sleeping. Makes you want to make this moment last forever. Good to be back above ground. Mm-hmm. Still trouble ahead. You mean the trolls? They're in for trouble, not us. Don't know who you're trying to impress. Tough guy stuff's just not working on me. <laughs> Look who's talking. Vesemir told me about that job you did for those Nilfgaardians in Velen. What? What are you doing? Killing. <laughs> Good one. Just came out that way. Come on. Ha! <laughs> See him shit and run soon as he saw us? Mm -hmm. Never known a troll to do that. Just is to walk no more. The stops. Yeah. East Mountain. Trolley Mountain. Troll Mountain. Huh? Oh. Uh, hi! This Troll Mountain. Uh, you talk to these idiots. Stay calm. We just want to get to the circle. Which is this thing one say, thing two do, thing three do, sometime. Ah, uh, enough! Out of my way, dimwits, or I'll grind you to gravel. Understand? <laughs> Run for the cave, before they stone us to death! Which is his understanding? We understand it, but we still gotta get to the Circle of Elements. Listen, but we. Trolls come know to Witchesy Castle. Rocks not there. Let him rock. Enjoying this little chat? Cause, uh, it's not getting us anywhere. I'm talking. Fact is, you know as much about negotiating as they do about grammar. We're not here to hurt you. We don't want to touch your rocks. Just let us pass. Try rock throw. Witchesy strike no back. Just talky talky. Witcher would only you. Witcher's his monster kills trolls monsters. Yes, true is. No face, mate. Mm. Um. We do go this. You 
sharp back clubs leave here. Use pass. No grease. We smash. All right. We'll leave our swords here. Pick them up on the way back. We want to know. Metal mouth thing. You nuts? Shut up and follow my lead. I think you might have missed your calling. Hmm? If I remember Pappy Vesemir's lessons correctly, witchers kill monsters. Well, we made it. No denying that. Damn. Beautiful view. Must be if you noticed it. Geralt, who do you take me for? Let me think. A sourpuss? Ha! <laughs> Fair enough. But save the rest of your compliments for later. Let's get to work. Remember how this circle works? Been a while since I activated my medallion here. It's fine, old man. No need to make excuses. Light the torches and place the phylactery on the altar. I'll handle the rest. How'd it go? Water, then earth, then air? Factories in place. Then all we gotta do is wait. The container will absorb the power of the elements while we catch a breather. So, how'd you deal with the trolls when you passed the trial of the medallion? Let me think. Oh, uh, yeah. Used Axie, but I only had to get past one troll. Other two were busy. Yeah, useful sign, Axie. Saved my life a short while ago. Sense a good story coming. One of the best. A couple of road robbers stopped me. One pointed a crossbow at me, and the other started rummaging through my satchel. I made the man with the crossbow shoot his friend, and then hang himself. Wow. Truly great story. Isn't it? Real side-splitter, I think. Tell me, you always been such a cynical bastard? No. I was adorable before Vesemir brought me to care more him. We all went through it. That's just it. Not everyone made it. Lots of boys died here. Boys taken against their will. It was our destiny. Destiny? Let me tell you about destiny. My dad was a drunk. He'd knock a few back, then beat me and mom bloody. We prayed for his death every night. One day our prayers were almost answered. Dad lost his way coming home from the tavern, walked smack into a nest of neckers. But some witcher saved him. Know what he wanted in return? Give me the first thing you see when you get home. My life. For the life of that prick? I say fuck that kind of destiny. Didn't know. I'm sorry. Next time you wonder why I'm so bitter. Well, there's your answer. All right. We've griped enough. Let's get out of here. Need to get our swords. Witcher with no swords like a man without an arm. Sure thing, brother.
bitches is his sharp back club takes and home goals. Mm hmm. Don't worry. I don't need convincing. Come on, girl. Let's go. Right. Let's get back. After you, sir. Eskel's prints. No one else is left to keep recently. Get up. Move it. Go, go. name? Scorpion? Beautiful animal. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Stay outside a while. Footprints and hoof prints. A goat. Interesting. Rocks. Tracks end here. Great. Could try to follow my nose. Can't smell Eskel, but there is the goat. Just gotta find a sample of its scent. Bits of bark. Looks like Eskel's goat rubbed against this tree. A clump of goat hair. Ugh, stench. tracks. The nose knows. Didn't tie itself to this stake. Supposed to be forktail bait. <laughs> Guess it works for witchers as well. As for fork tails, bait them thusly. Pound a stake in the soil, bind a goat to it, then hide ye in near to shrubbery post haste. Brother Adelbert's bestiary, page 82. See your memories back in full, and sharp as ever in spite of your years. You're as old as I am, wise guy. Don't let the gray hair fool you.
Good to finally see you again. Yen's keeping you pretty busy, huh? Hmm. Started shouting out orders with just one foot out of the teleport. I tried to get a word in edgewise, to which she said... One should not interrupt a lady. Exactly. Times like these, I'm glad this ugly mug of mine keeps the women away. Looks aren't everything. Certainly not to all women. You're right. But most like a full purse, too. Don't have much to brag about in that domain, either. Shh. Hear that? Incoming. Foul, overgrown reptiles. I hate it when they do that. Bleeding heavily. From an artery. Blood's light covered. Can't fly much further. Not scared to leave the horse down below? Forktail could decide to have at him. <laughs> Scorpion's a war horse. A purebred Kedwenny. He'll be fine. Have I told you how I got him? No, don't think so. Saved his lost night once. You know, woods, dark, wolves, the standard. Told him, give me what you find at home and all that. No kid this time, but his mare had just foaled. Eskel and Scorpion, bound by fate. An enchanting tale. Mock me all you want. You're just jealous. The old hen she cackled. She cackled on the fence. The old hen she cackled. And she ain't cackled since. Landed here. Not very gracefully. Look at the tracks. It broke its wing, I think. Fled to its lair, looks like. Good. Means it's done fleeing. Gonna make a stand.
All right, let's collect the spinal fluid and get out of here. Cut into its back, just below the skull. Gonna tell me which side of the knife to cut with next? The sharp one. Come on, hurry up. Yes, Wolf. Hey, what do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! Finally. Took you a while. Saddle kept sliding. Mm-hmm. Not a crappy show dancer out there who doesn't blame her shoes. You're a fucking show dancer. But one who's damn good on horseback. Didn't wager anything, but can't help thinking you deserve a prize. Come on. Not gonna take anything from you. Buy me around sometime and we'll call it good. Done deal.
provide you everything you need. Splendid. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Esco, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us. But it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. Don't take this the wrong way, Vesemir. The clock's ticking. I ask only one night's delay. If nothing comes of it, we'll do what Yennefer wants. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion. But I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn with Uma or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself. Or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Do as you will. But in a moment, Geralt and I must talk. Ooh, sounds serious. Come on, Lambert. See you in a bit, Geralt. Something not quite right? No, nothing. I just wanted to take you aside, without cluing the others into what we're up to. What are we up to? Sneaking upstairs to make love. Wow. You don't exactly mince words. I'm too old to play the blushing bride. Unless you ask nicely. Shall we go? You can rejoin them afterwards. In an hour. Or two. Or three. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> 